Well, that we made it through another Viva Fresh. Although, you know, this time it feels a little different. I'm, you know, I'm scratching my head. I just can't put my finger on it. Can, what, can you think what it might be that's different this time? Well, look around. I'm, like, well, I mean, I'm looking want... around, and I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on. You I don't my know. glasses? Or... No, I mean, we're <laughs> we're not in the lobby between, like, the, toilet? the men's room Remember, and we, the... We were so close to the well, toilet. I mean, I'm trying like... to keep it clean, you know, <laughs> women's room, men's room, ladies' room, men's room. Yeah, that's where we are at last year. So, um, no, we're smack dab in the middle of the expo floor. So, awesome. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. You know, and uh, Viva Fresh is, is, is uh, close to you and I. It's, it's in a special place in our heart. Sure. Being from the very front of this thing, um, they've been so good to us. The show, the fresh cred, it's, it's been a great partnership. And, and again, it's, it's been good to be part of it. Um, we're beyond thrilled to, to be here, be able yep. to attend, be able to do this from the show floor and be part of it. So, it's been great. Yeah, and and for those of you listening, you're gonna hear from sponsors, guests, individuals today, um, which without we couldn't be here. Um, we definitely want to thank them: uh, Colimex, B and M Avocados, Ifco, Full Tilt Marketing, Santis Produce, Sunfed, Splendid, and Produce Careers. Well, thank you, Viva Fresh. Thank you, all of our sponsors. And thank you, Ed. And thank you, Craig. And thank you, Ed, for being such a good friend. You're so thankful. And enjoy the show. This is my favorite part of the show. So self-absorbed. As we sit here under lights right. with microphones. And oh my God! So hey, you know what? So, so, so who's joining us? Let's let's start there. All right, let's let's talk about who we it. would join, and then I, I got to go somewhere with this. So who's joining us, Ed? Dante Galeazzi, yeah, President and CEO of the Texas International Produce Association. Melinda Goodman, Managing Partner, correct? Owner. Owner of Full Tilt Marketing. Thank you for being with us. We're delighted to be here. Uh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time in about five hours I've sat down. Oh, I realize good. how nice it feels until I'm actually sitting. Awesome. So, well, Ed's going to bitch about how he's had to sit here all day, and then he'll tell you how <laughs> bad it is to be sitting in the chair. All it day, actually so. doesn't feel that bad, and I've been so. trying to sit, like my, you know, use my posture, um, and I actually feel better. So this isn't like conference calls in your office where you can do push-ups or lift weights no, while you're on them. And it's not my Serta brand easy chair oh type God. office chair but we we you know we tried to save some money on budget dante um and we went economical on the chair so before you hate on us or don't fall over i, I find this chair quite comfortable hey, i'm good with <laughs> it I knew you would and i take them with me <laughs> like, yeah. can we just take them to the <laughs> yeah, office we'll exactly. have chairs for the rest of the decade well ed's missing his donut he's got a donut at the house and he didn't bring <laughs> that with him so he's uh, he, he may have a little issue okay yes we want to know from their perspective how the show's going. Well, before we go to that, wait a second. Well, we got we drinks go. here, and it's not proper to, to, to have – we need to have an official toast. <laughs> but I want to say to, to you two guys, right, so, so you guys obviously are at the very tip of the spear for this show, no doubt, right? And, you know, Ed and I started this project last year, you know, at this show. You guys gave us a chance to come here and – Thank you. See what we could do. So very much thanks for that. But, oh, my goodness. Uh, I, I can't say thanks enough for what you guys have been able to do for us this year, putting us here in the center part of the show in such a, an outstanding setup that we've got going here. Really fabulous. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Like I say, cause I know, I know when I first kind of pitched the idea a couple of years ago, in fact, I pitched a little late, but Dante's like, Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but you know what? You kind of, you came along and you gave us, but really I, God's I just really appreciate it. Toast to, to Viva fresh, but to you guys and you know, the fresh crib. Salud. For sure. Salud. Cheers. Salud. Cheers. cheers. I can reach you. We'll pretend. Ah, Air and to you. Salute. All right. Now, so now, we've got our, our drinking underway. Now you can go to your question. You messed me all up. Well, you know, I do Drinking will do that. Look. Speaking of drinking, by the way, look at all these people out here just carrying drinks, carrying yeah. on. This floor is still freaking full at 3.30 in the evening. 
or three thirty in the afternoon, afternoon, I guess would be appropriate. Evening. Yeah. But look at this. We we still have a ton of people out here. This is awesome. The that's, networking is still happening. That's one of the coolest parts of the condensed format. Like, you know, we've obviously all been to multi day shows and there's a definite wall you hit after about half a day and half a day or a full day. Right. So this is I, I love this component or this you know, part of the condensed type format. So D Dante and Melinda, this is show number eight. Yep. Nine years. Yep. But show number eight. As Ed was going to, I'm going to go ahead and finish his sentence that I rudely interrupted. Uh, what do you guys, you know, as, as you've come through today, w what you've seen, you know, what, what are some of the high points? I mean, obviously, like you say, the people still hanging around, the good time it's still going on, the networking, but, from from y'all's perspective, what about the show? What what about this year's show? What do you think? Well, I think we can say every year it gets a little better than the last, and we walk away saying it was a win. This is no different. If we look back to year zero when the idea was in place, I think you just said a second ago about the podcast. Every time an idea comes to the table, we start with a. Is this no. a good idea? Yeah. Start I with no. I don't know. He um, starts with no. I'll, I definitely start. I, I'm a. That's listen, the default. I'm a, yeah. I'm a no, but bring me to a yes. Well, yeah. or Dante is usually uh, no. If it costs anything, no. <laughs> it's first, is it costing anything? Yeah, that's not a good idea. I, I think you forget the company I work for. I'm a nonprofit. I just, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, which is it's good, but yeah. uh, but here we are, and look at all these great things that are happening. And every year, new things get added, and every year it's a little more exciting than the last, and we wouldn't be raking records every year with buyers and attendees if this wasn't working. That's exactly right. And I think that's that's part of the big win that we're looking at, right? I mean, literally every category of Viva Fresh this year is record breaking. Record breaking attendance, more than 2,500 people. Record breaking exhibitors, more than 200. Record breaking buyers, more than uh, 450. You know, so we have a ton of records here but we've got a ton of people here and the best part is everyone's smiling they're loving it they're enjoying it we're hearing how much they love the networking i mean <clears throat> you guys know this when we started our journey nine years ago and we said what are we going to do with viva fresh our decision was we wanted to make it about texas about mexico about fruit and vegetables health but really, the big pillar was we wanted to make it about networking. Mm -hmm. And that's really kind of the feedback we've been hearing is people enjoy all of, the, all of the time they have, all of the ability they have to mingle with each other, suppliers, buyers. Everybody is coming here to have that positive experience, and they're getting it, and that's what we love. We love seeing everybody smiling and enjoying themselves at the end of a show. I mean, how often at the end of a show are you like, man, I love that. I want more. So that's a good point. So hang, on, hang on, hang oh, on, hang on. We got to talk to Don. You're about, interrupting me. We got to talk about the bump. Bump. He owes about $30 right oh, now. Oh, yeah. So there's a $5 <laughs> per bump when you bump the desk. We don't have a jar, but we'll just, we're keeping track. Yeah. Okay. How do you know I'm bumping the desk? Because because it. it's, it's, I was counting. We can, I didn't even know that there was a price limit on yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Man. I, I, and I might have been generous at 30. Yeah. So, it, yeah. It's, uh, it's, so for the production team, they, they charge it because they're the ones that have to fix that. <laughs> And so, no, it just it comes through in the mic. Yeah. So, anyway, sorry. Oh no, I was gonna say like so, the last couple of years, particularly the schedule's been a moving target with, you know, post COVID and this year a more relaxed I, I would say right schedule. Very well, much more traditional. What's the feedback been? But I mean, I feel like there was more time between like events and it wasn't folks running from one to another. I think there's a a good balance of you know educational. Um, entertainment i mean charlie rocket was pretty awesome i don't know if we've even talked about that today. we, we have it but we got these guys here we'll get to that but i want you to finish he's got a question there Let, let's hear it hell now i forgot what the damn question was oh so what's the, the, the feedback man yeah what's the feedback yeah melinda you want to tackle first and I'll, I'll i'll try not to bump the table when it's my turn well we're just going to tie your hands behind your back and see if you can still talk i'm italian I, it doesn't work it, <laughs> believe me you know I'm, I'm i'm accusatory of the bump rule because i'm already in for a couple of hundred so i mean i was bumping like crazy this morning so i've had to restrict myself so well we have heard only positive feedback and i think to you guys this point like there's just been more time nobody's felt rushed nobody wants to talk about that thing that happened a couple of years ago where we all stayed home and we're on zoom but the reality is it put us all in a position that said spending time with our friends spending time with our customers spending time with our peers was most important nobody wants to rush around to anything we we want to connect and that's what we continue to do is spend 
spend our time thinking about what are the most meaningful ways to do that, and it's working. Absolutely, and the feedback we're getting is, thank you, I love it, and I want some more. Awesome. Hey, that sounds like a tagline. That could be the new motto for Viva Fresh. So where are we and next? And don't bump the table. So And don't bump the table. So obviously the folks here have heard Keynote Luncheon. We saw the video. Mm -hmm. Just for those listening today, where are we at next year? So next year we are going to go to the host hotel of the World Series. That is the Marriott Marquis in beautiful downtown Houston, Texas. We it's are going to have a great lineup. You know, I should probably stop and turn it over to Melinda before I get too <laughs> deep into this, but I think one of the great things about Viva Fresh is every year we challenge ourselves as the steering committee and the planners to make the event better, but also to make it original, right? Because there's a lot of shows out there. There's a lot of opportunity for people to say, I, could, I, I think I can get something else by going to a different show. And so our job as the show organizers is, how do we give them something they can't get anywhere else? How do we give them a unique experience? How do we give them a custom tailored experience that is the Viva Fresh? And we're excited to do that in Houston. So I'm going to turn it over to the, the woman that is responsible for many, if not all of our great creative ideas. Well, thank you for that. Uh, I guess maybe we'll say they happen at happy hour. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just hope they have a, I just hope they have a cool pool. There is a super cool pool. Oh. Uh, over half of the exhibitors and attendees that uh, are staying at the Marriott Marquis. By the way, we are a sold-out hotel. We own the whole oh, hotel. Oh, the whole baby, right? It is going to be nothing it. but us. Wow. You won't see badges from anyone else there. Every Will that room. be the first time we've sold out a first, hotel? Well, first time we've sold out. We've sold out a hotel every single year of the amount of rooms that we own and overflow into other hotels. This will be the very first time ever we own the whole hotel. Every badge you see in that hotel will belong to a Viva Fresh attendee. Wow. And over half of them are going to look out into a pool that is in the shape of Texas. Yeah. That looks super cool. I've seen it. Yep. That Texas Lazy River, I'm telling you what, I'm looking forward to the end of Viva Fresh 2024 already and just being able to hang out on a little tube with the beer. And so I was going to say, are you, are you staying a week, another week after we're over with? So you'll spend a whole week on that Lazy River decompressing? We can guarantee no that there's going to be some time uh, at our opening reception spent down there in that area. I don't know if you want to put all this crew in a lazy river, though. I, that might not be. Well, if right. somebody gets in the river, that <laughs> is not necessarily a sanctioned event. Oh, but... that's not a sanctioned <laughs> event. Yeah. They get kind of lazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, it's a great hotel, and that's going to be a blast. Uh, did we take out extra in insurance for the hotel? I'm just curious. It's like having the rock band take over the entire hotel. That's, uh, it could be, that could be an event. Unlike anything else we've ever could had. It could be interesting. Not it could be. It, it will, will be. be. It will Dallas be. has been good to us, though. Dallas has been incredible to I mean, us. Three years now. Three years in the Gaylord. And I got to tell you, a lot of people are telling us, why are you leaving? Why, why are you not here? But how many people told us, why are you going to Dallas? Why are you making that change? When, exactly. we, when we did, they said the exact same thing. When we came here, we left the Marriott. That's what everybody knew. It's what everybody liked. But you know what? Fear of the unknown. It, it is. <laughs> Same thing when we left the island. Oh, right, my God, you're right. leaving the island. What? We've never done that. But how, how do you stay true to Texas if you don't give them different Texas experiences? You have got to see everything that Texas has to offer. So that means taking them to San Antonio, taking them to Austin, taking them to Dallas, and now taking them to Houston. And after that, can we do, you know what, let's take this river idea down to, let's do New Braunfels. We could take this and we could have an outing where we're all in the in in, in the, the river in the Guadalupe River. Do you, do you want the reception the to be at Bucky's? The Guadalupe <laughs> River. We can't find hotels that house us in major cities, and you want to go to New <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine what it looks like to have 2,000 tubes and the amount of extra tubes it would take it to would, tie up it for would coolers. Be crazy! <laughs> Can you imagine the video stuff we could get from that? Right? Would we need? Would we need? Oh, we'd like need two, so. Would we need like two tubes per person yeah. for coolers, or just one? Yeah, yeah. There's probably mm. not enough I, tubes. I think to it'd be support. like a marathon. Like you'd have people standing on the riverbank, handing off beers as you float by. That'd be the only way to continue yeah. to keep the uh, the beer ratio. Uh, although I don't know April in the Waterloo. Uh, I mean, it's chilly enough when it's a hundred 
degrees down there. In the month of April, it might be really cold if we're in that river. Do we have dates yet for next year? Do we remember? April 13th through the 16th. April 13th through the 16th. Mark your calendars, Mark folks. that. Hey, Mason, April. mark that down. But also check that date twice later. <laughs> well, I have my handy <laughs> dandy. Don't book your room just yet. <laughs> I have my handy dandy notebook here. There you go. So, But, yeah, it is exciting going to Houston. We're going to be there by the ball field. Uh, it's going to be a different experience. It's going to be a different way for us to do this. We right. can already so guarantee that over the last two years, we've had it added a unique networking experience with the wine tour, finding a way to bring more people together outside of traditional golf activities. We have a new one brewing. We have several new ones. <laughs> we brewing. do have it several is, new ones is, brewing. Is brewing. Key, keyword being brewing. brewing. I wondered yeah. if that was like a little slide of an innuendo. There. Uh, an innuendo I like that. But there's another one in the works too that we can't even talk about yet. It's so new. Very nice. Are you sending? Are you going to NASA and sending somebody up? NASA's nearby. And oh my Who? God! So we're sending somebody to space. <laughs> is anyone volunteering? We're sending a banana to space. <laughs> yeah. Is anyone we're, volunteering? We're gonna send Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna send hey, Tommy we're, to space. We're, 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 <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Ed, Ed, Craig, you guys bring up a great point. Houston has so much to offer, and I feel it's like it's kind of this hidden gem of Texas. So few people consider Houston a place they, they have visited or been to, and we are excited to change that perception for people. We're excited to show people exactly what Houston has and why it needs to be a regular stop when you come into Texas. Yeah, yeah. it really is. I mean, it, it's, it's – it, well – so I think you we should ask these guys. Dallas, Fort Worth, but it is the largest single city in in the state. So I think we should ask these guys. Like we've been doing this for weeks, months, a whole year. Yeah. Like we have all kinds of notes. Let's turn the tables a little bit. So. Oh, you don't want to do that. No, you guys. What's been your favorite experience in Dallas or at Viva Fresh this year? Well, come on. Really? The narcissist, <laughs> you're, the you're, narcissist you're in you asking, would say You're asking right us, here. I was going to say. I, mean, I, I um, already knew actually, my answer. The up, the, the Melinda, in, I'm going to need to scoot over. I can feel the egos pushing me out of the way. Hey. You, uh, didn't, you didn't feel those before? You're just now feeling the egos? Come as, on. As my headphones don't fit anymore. <laughs> can you get bigger headphones? Uh, um, actually, meeting Charlie Rocket was really cool. The opportunity to interview him independently uh, before the keynote yesterday, that was a great opportunity. Um, great story. Um, I mean, I don't think any of you would mind me saying, I think we definitely got our money's worth from him yesterday. He was with us for, you know, quite a while, gave a, a, an extensive presentation. Um, that was probably honestly my favorite part. Like if I had to pick one part, I'm not counting this. Yeah. But, but, but one thing. So did we get video of that? That's a question. Did we get a video of Charlie? Party's news has some video. Yes. Not the whole show, but not yeah. the whole show. Cause uh, unfortunately, you know, that's the thing we had. Uh, I, so I, that's one of those deals. Hats off for me. When you presented the idea, I was freaking, I loved it. Right. Because like he said, as his intro, right. You know, uh, thank you, you know, Viva Fresh for having a, a, a rapper producer come. I mean, that's, that's because that is, man, that's what we're about. We're about thinking differently or about looking, I love the guy thought is a great speech but but un unfortunately you know we still don't have as many people you know as, as ed said there's not as many people experience it right because those luncheons they've been to too many that weren't great and i was you know anything that we've got from that the more if we can push some of that out i think it really is his message is good his cause is good uh i thought it was great um were you saying there was a lot of overlap with other no, no, I'm saying no, no, that no. Craig, Craig is saying, how do we take the inspirational message that was shared at the keynote and push that forward? Because too often, and, and you know, this is, <clears throat> as we look for our keynote speakers, kind of the theme that has happened or the theme that's emerged is all of these folks arose, arrived at a crossroads in their life where they realized that food was important. Food was, the, the wrong food had put them on a path that had impacted their lives so negatively that the medical system came to them and said, look, you better change now or your days are numbered. I mean, look back at all of our speakers. That's kind of been a constant theme. And so where Charlie Rocket was so different is he was someone unassociated from health. He was someone unassociated from fresh produce. He was someone unassociated from agriculture. And this guy gets up there and says, look, fruits and vegetables saved my life. 
and they're pure energy. If you pure looked at energy. an orange, it would sizzle. Right. We, we've used some of his stuff today, I must say, right? Mm-hmm. We've used the, the, the clean burning energy. Right, is, right. Yeah. And that's what's great is he brought this message of inspiration from a totally different place than any of our other keynote speakers has ever come from. And I think that's why it touched so many of our audience members. Now, could we push that information forward to others? Absolutely. I don't think it has the same impact, though, Craig. And I think that's where we have got to continue as Viva Fresh to put up quality keynote speakers because that motivates people to say, man, I miss Charlie Rocket. I have got to get my rear end to the next one and see what they do to top that. Well, but yeah, and we we can talk logistics, but so it, the idea about with this, this show that we're doing, right, is one, reaching out not only to people that weren't here, but reaching out past just the industry people, right, trying to change lives. And I do think that there is content and there's stuff from what he had to say that we can push out to this industry, right? Because exactly what you said, even if it's just the bar, it's like, it saved my life. Right. Produce is alive. I'm not eating dead food, right? Any of those little clips or that kind of stuff we can push forward because, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that, that unfortunately didn't hear his message yesterday mm-hmm. that are here. And there's m- thousands more that didn't come to today's show because of other things, conflicts or whatever, that it's a great message for us. And and so for me, it's like, that's the thing with this stuff we're doing here. And, you know, I tell you, this is, this is somewhat evergreen if we, if we do it right. But the idea is always about trying to push a message to really change how, how people look and using those guys, somebody like that as a, um, um, Gosh, I can't think of the word. Uh, testimonial. His testimonial is exactly what our industry needs. It's what we need to hear. So I'm hoping there's some good video that we can take and push and, and take forward. But we should probably start packaging some of that stuff and pushing that out as good mods. Because last year's speaker was great, too. Yeah. You know, you, we've had some good people. You and- know how you can tell? You could hear a pin drop for about – now, it was a little loud at first. Like, it took – it took a while for folks to settle down, and that's pretty normal, right, even in the most interesting of topics. But I would say for about 45 minutes, you could hit a, hear a pin drop, 30 minutes easily. That's when you know, you know people have, people's attention are, are had, I should say. So it was great. Yeah. I, I really liked that part. So you asked. Yeah, and did we you, had a and we had you a, answer? We had a blast. You know. What's your favorite part? I, I, you know. Ed, me? Man. What? Look, I enjoy golf. So that's pretty yeah, special. You point. won something. Yeah, I won something. That's yeah. pretty good. Um, yeah, I guess the high point for me. And did, did you say the interview or just having Charlie Rocket? I think, I think the interview slash meeting. Yeah, like, I mean, that, know, th- it's hard for me to say that like wasn't a, a high point for me because I loved his energy. You know, uh, I'm into some of that music, honestly. So you know, there there's a part of me that that was kind of cool that he's. You know, two chains started with that, and and Soldier Boy was his original. Uh, you know, first first gig was working for Soldier Boy, and so some of that is just because I like the music. It's just him, I, I don't know. That that had to be my high point. I hate to try and steal Ed's, but yeah, there was so much. You did about steal that. it. I know I did. I said I hate to, but I'm still doing. You know it. what? I, so I think also one of the good most- does not have a limit. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's that's I a think line, what really right? there. What blows me away more than anything about him, and even though it was forced, if nobody knows his story, he had a brain tumor at like in his late twenties, twenty eight, I think he said, that forced him to reevaluate his health. Um, that he did all that at such a young age, right? So it usually takes longer in life to not only, you know, come down with something, right, uh, as far as a disease or be uh, diagnosed with something that would make you change the trajectory or habits or anything like that. So he did all of that at such a young age. He was like successful young. He was sick young. He was well young. All that stuff happened in a really condensed time frame. So um, very interesting story. Absolutely. He took a journey that many people take 50 or 60 years to complete, and he did it all in about 30. And, and Not even. Not even. He probably did it all in about 10 yeah. Or yeah. less. Yeah, that's I mean, true. It's very, very true. I mean, he woke up as a 16 year old and said, Hey, this is what my dream is. And what did anybody take away from this? So I think I walked away with what a unique experience that he said, you know, speak out loud what you want, like say what you want. 
So the opportunity that, you know, tied in with him and what you guys do through the Viva Fresh Foundation and the golf tournament, being able to donate funds to organizations that are changing lives and changing health. The only reason I knew about the Hayes County Juvenile Detention Center is because Dr. Chate spoke out loud randomly in the conversation regarding EDGE students. One of the things she was working with through access and the horticulture students that they were hoping to expand the steam related program and underserved communities by taking it behind the wall at Hayes County. And the minute he said that in his speech, I thought to myself, you know, she spoke out loud her dream. And right here, we're making that dream happen while he's telling us that we have to speak out loud hmm. the things we want to happen. So, so that's, a, you know, that's a great segue. Cause I, you know, let's, we didn't really, we talked about we're donating the money to the Hayes County, but we really didn't have a chance to talk a little bit about what that is. So it's a great time for this, because like I said, this, this podcast, what we're doing, it's going to be somewhat evergreen. It's going to go forward. There'll be people that have a chance to listen to this a couple of different times, but let's talk a little bit about, you know, what the, the golf tournament money, certainly the, the scholarship money, the $10,000, but then there's another 15000 donated to the Hayes County. Um, you know, we love golf, but the reality of it is, yeah, it's going to a good cause. And so talk a little bit about what that is and w what it is we're going to do with that 15000 So um, Texas University has developed both in combination with one of their community service programs as well as their horticulture department. They have started a horticulture garden program in underserved communities where it is all tied to STEAM programming. So they're taking those garden programs and they're engaging students and families in a variety of technical learning skills. And through that process, they have helped educate hundreds of students and give them access to things. Students who didn't know they would go to college, students who certainly didn't have access to healthy foods, and they have given them options and, and created pathways for them. And because of the success that that program was having in those underserved communities, they were approached by the Hayes County Juvenile Detention Center that in San Marcos who said, you know, we have lots of students that come here because they have substance abuse problems, because they have mental health issues. They come for a three month or a six month stay. And we know food changes lives. We hear it over and over and over again. And it is the root of many of those issues. I mean, Sometimes if people are hungry, if they're malnourished, if they're eating dead food, that's where problems come from. And the fact that we're able to put a garden behind walls, bring horticulture students to teach them how to use those skills, not only how to eat healthy, but how to grow that food and be in touch with it. That's more than 140 students every three to six months that will be helping find healthier pathways to living and better coping skills for long-term, hopefully, wellness. Wow. And introducing them to agriculture, fruit and vegetable production, and an entire career of, or an entire list of opportunities for career sites, right? I mean, Good and choices. that's huge. Yep. All of that is huge. Everybody deserves healthy food, yep. no matter where they are. For sure. Well, guys, we've said a mouthful. Well, yeah, but, but it's something, I know, we're up against we the got, clock. Okay, but, but one more. What was the student, uh, Cody's uh, student? Um, Kennedy? Kennedy. Yeah. So edge student or edge. That was a great time. With yeah. Edge student. Edge. Edge. Oh, edge. 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 Yeah. Edgy. She was an edgy. Ed had a student. Yeah. yeah it, was, it, was, <laughs> okay. it was Craig today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my he goodness. Wishes. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Didn't even see that one coming. Uh, so anyway, uh, she talked. She said something today. One, what a great program, the association, the, the, the edge. And we talked a little bit about during that in the pod. But. I asked about the generation, right, and what's kind of important. And she said something that, that, I don't know, we talk about it. Sometimes people forget it. But she's like, you know, it's a business where you're actually doing good for people, right? And it's a generation. And it's really important to be contributing back to society in what you do. And, oh, my gosh, what better place, what better business than fruits and vegetables and what we're doing for communities and for people and, I don't know, from a career standpoint, but I just thought that was a nice time with the EDGE program and the students and her you, comment and her. her you like that she said, make money while you sleep. I like that part, too, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, that was funny. That was good. Yeah. So you, you know, guys didn't get to hear it, so you're going to have to listen to it once it's out. Of those students. Looking forward to it. I have been with, working with those students for the past month and a half as they came in, and today we got to meet with them. They are some of the best and brightest, Super. and many of them said that exact same thing they are looking for companies who want to make a difference who are who are leaving a mark in the world and leaving it a little better 
That's awesome. Yep. Very nice. Well, anything else, sir, before we let I these mean, we two go? we can go all day, but you guys I know another, that they've there got some ribbon wrap-up cutting? responsibilities to gonna, do. Is there ribbon well, cutting? Yeah, I mean, I know, we, cutting didn't, we didn't do a great job with the ribbon cutting today. That would probably, We're going to go if, down that road. If, you okay. would've, if you'd have picked, <laughs> you didn't ask, like, what, you asked what the high was. You didn't ask. So my family, we used to do, as kids, we used to do the high and lows, right? I don't know if y'all have ever done that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Well, so yeah. low today. Tell me the low. Well, the low would be, yeah, the, the whole ribbon cutting was kind of uh, uh, not, not the, the, the most... Um, I don't know. It was, it was a little, yeah, it was not smooth. It yeah. was not smooth. It was, it was not smooth. You know, and then the doors we, were locked. We, we talked about the details. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. that was a meme, right? Like, wah, wah, uh, wah. yeah. <laughs> when you plan every detail except the doors actually opening. <laughs> <laughs> so, definitely literally. Over, definitely overshot the runway on that one. Yeah. I, I feel like we're going to be a meme because there was a lot of videos and cameras pointed at us. Oh. And there was nine people trying to open six <laughs> sets of doors, like, <laughs> oh, God, come on, come yeah. on. Oh, you, know, oh, you know what's much. worse? Nobody thought to knock on it until I knocked on it. I mean, the minute I knocked on it, of course there's somebody on the other side that by, wants us to come in. By knocking, I want all listeners to picture a two-year-old throwing a tantrum <laughs> against a closet door with two <laughs> fists. We're just banging as fast as they could. <laughs> it's You're the produce industry. That's funny. Yeah, like it's that. the produce industry. We're problem solvers. It yeah. doesn't always have to be complicated. Just did somebody knock on the door? It doesn't always have to be pretty. No. Yeah. It was effective. <laughs> did somebody knock on the door? <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we can let these two go. In the interest of time. If not, we can go all day. But seriously, I'm, I'm sure they have stuff to do. We can go all day, up. but, you know, the you show I, wraps yeah. in like eight minutes. You so. and I are so, going to go all day. So We're are you guys go just day. staying here after they shut the lights out, too? Uh, or? No, that's not happening. I'll be here. Um, that's your Listen, I, I think if I if you don't mind, I think there is at least one thing that I want to make sure we get before we wrap this up. And that's we, an autograph. He said that with a straight face. You see that? I, I'm impressed. He, he really thought that's, that's what true. you were going to yeah, ask. Yeah. That's no, a, that's in a all true seriousness. sign of a psychopath right there. <laughs> in all seriousness, I think thank you, right? It's thank you to the 2,500 plus people that came. Thank you to all the sponsors that believed in us. Thank you to all the exhibitors that continue to believe in us. Thank you to the buyers who took time out of their day away from their families to come and see us and participate. Thank you to you guys. Thank you to Full Tilt. Thank you to the staff. I, on, on behalf of Eva Fresh, I just have got to say that we are incredibly grateful for all of the blessings out here to see such a great crowd still out here five minutes before we wrap up. I mean, I'm probably looking at the better part of 1,500 people still on this floor five minutes before we end, and I cannot say thank you enough. Thank you. That's awesome. I mean, you, you know, a lot of people say it, but it's when you mean it, like it's... <laughs> It's a real thing. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to even convey, right? It's, yeah. uh, it's easy to, I wouldn't say let success go to your head, but, you know, when we've had so many good shows in a row, obviously, I mean, uh, being thankful, I think is a great point, like to remind ourselves to be thankful that we're in an environment where this can happen and that we can execute and that because there's a lot of there's a lot of challenges and we have and a lot of great partners and liabilities yep. and there's just there's a lot out there so um, yeah that's a great point thank you guys thank you thank you very much for coming on and, and having some laughs with us thanks for the drinks wish y'all have brought more but that's okay drinks were good but here we were the serious we had happy hour and we were the serious ones that talked about all the good stuff and didn't even get to talk about like rats uh, rats <laughs> try to talk about nutra <laughs> Oh, Nutri-Rat. Nutri-Rat, so. Anyway, or Melinda. Nutria. Me and you can have a podcast talking just strictly Nutri-Rats. I don't know that? anything about them. It would be very short and terrible. Seriously? Have you never had Nutra? No. Oh, Nutra burgers are amazing. <laughs> My wife's not here to talk about them. Like that. This this coming from the guy that literally will only eat like five things at the grocery store, and he's like, "Yeah, let's have Nutria Rat Burger. That'll be fantastic." <laughs> it's not really a rat. It's not. It's, That's right. It's an invasive it's, rodent species. It's, it's, it's close to a squirrel. So I have because that makes it better. I have honest God, I have Rata. I've had Rata. And, and, uh, did, did you notice he had to go with the uh, with the accent? Well, the, because uh, that's the, the way they it, pronounce it. Because it makes it less weird than yeah, he. Yeah, exactly. He that you ate rat in a mole, garbage did you, and a mole sauce. Ready. Did you eat? Have you eaten? Uh, what is it? 
guinea pig? Have you eaten guinea pig? I've not been to Peru. To, to I've Peru? not been to Peru yet. No, no, no. So a friend of mine, Peruvian friend, uh, but he didn't. He he didn't say. Does it go on like a hot dog bun, maybe. like with with toppings on it? I, I, just... I, I think I think it, I think that may be somewhat like the uh, wooden that's wooden the limit shoe. Right that's there. the wooden. You know, wooden <laughs> shoes. The wooden shoes and no, all. I had yeah. it like up here. The Mm. Oh. I was just you've mouth. had guinea pig before. No, I just said it's, it was like a throw I'm, up in my mouth. Uh, look, I'm telling you, I was it's just a, envisioning it's a, this little guinea pig in a bun with his feet up, putting condiments on at him. You. <laughs> you, it, they're very affordable. <laughs> it's, it's a very affordable protein. So, well, people keep uh, them like chickens in Peru, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I guess. Well, well, you really got don't. to. You probably need three or four to make a meal. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me tell you what, rata, rata is uh, even much more difficult to make a meal out of. And thank God, they're, they're tiny. Little, little, like little chew. Da, da, da. <laughs> Guy next to me ate the bones. I didn't eat the bones. I just ate my little meat off the rack. That's, I could tell. All of the visuals I, I have right you, now, I will they, never they, forget. These I, are like, facts. They will never go That's away. I cannot unsee. Yep. So, All yep. right. I think that is it for this part of the program. But uh, I think I'm going to go somewhere. For about 24 hours and not say a dang word. Including Rata? From just all the talking I've done. I will bet I'm going to challenge myself. Anybody want to bet me on that? We're going to do the 24 hour happen. silence challenge. Shut, no. So which one of your wives will be super happy about oh, that? Oh, my wife would be ecstatic. <laughs> In fact, yeah, that, that's her deal. She's people ask, hey, does your wife listen to it? She'll tell them. She's like, no, I don't listen to it. I have to listen to him all day at the house. <laughs> Why would I listen to him on the radio? So she's got uh, a good point. So. Uh, all right, guys. Yeah. Thank awesome. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. We love you all. Thank you guys.